Good morning, folks. Cosmic Rays in the news for their serious influence, if in greater flux. It's a terrific article, and it tracks the ideas connected to our current weakening solar magnetic fields. Here's a quick blast from the past. Focal point is cosmic rays. If true, this news strengthens the arguments for cosmic climate forcing, especially given that Earth's magnetic shield is weakening according to every official source. I say if true because I have previously examined the arguments on both sides of this. Even among the leaders in the field, there's much disagreement on cosmic rays and clouds. But a point where everyone is on the same page is this. Solar activity and strong magnetic fields associated with it block galactic radiation. This is an old University of Delaware page, but it's perfect for this example. Up top we have solar cycles, high activity means strong fields and emissions, and when that magnetic shield weakens during solar minimum, the cosmic rays below penetrate much more. Even comparing cycle to cycle, look how much stronger one cycle is than another and how much more the cosmic rays plummeted during the stronger solar activity. This correlation is incontrovertible. Bit of review, Earth's magnetic shield has a partner in failure, and his cohort is our star. When two National Solar Observatory physicists suggested our next cycle could have no sunspots, many ignored it, but the pattern and indicators of a magnetic shutdown cycle to cycle, like the Dalton or even mini maunder like minima, is now also incontrovertible. We are at the point of a solar pole flip now, the cycle is almost peaked. It is in progress, so to speak. We know the southern pole flipped in 2012 right there, and if it is any indication of what's coming, the weakening will continue. What would erasing that delicate cosmic ray balance on Earth do to our climate? I'm not sure. But with Earth's field weakening 10% since the 19th century, we are seeing two shields fade, with one of them, the more important one for cosmic rays, potentially going on hiatus for a while. I find it odd that cosmic rays are not a greater focal point in mainstream climate science. This doesn't belong hidden in paid journals, occasionally summarized on science pages days to weeks later. This is what everyone should know. Now that was a follow-up to They Want to Blame You, the UN climate liars building their case against us. Speaking of them, not only have they managed to have a greater confidence in human-driven warming, even with global cooling or stagnation being undeniable over more than a decade. Now, the claim is that the failure to have higher temperatures is because of the UN Ozone Pact. They forget the 2010 Iceland, a volcano undid more than half of all human CO2 reduction efforts in history. But don't you forget that those are the same people blaming you, the ones to whom all Earth nations have given control. Let's kick it to ISON. Bruce Gary's graphs are getting mighty interesting. The comet is brightening quickly, and I must admit to a bit of surprise that so few of you have watched the longer ISON discussion put out on Saturday. This is being added to the background video list right below this video with links to everything else you see here. Feels like forever to get to the weather. Hi Ann, visiting Vietnam where hundreds of thousands have evacuated, total still coming in from the Philippines. West of that, Saudi Arabia still looking south to watch a small system at the mouth of the Arabian Sea. Looking down under, most rain sticking near the fire zones there. If we come to Europe, severe watches accompany a few portions of this huge system. I'd rely on local forecasts, guys. The Americas are a bit easier to diagnose. Snow out west coming from moisture funneled by that counterclockwise low out to sea. Two clockwise high pressure systems creating their own convergence in the center of the country where moisture and air masses collide there will get rain to the south and snow north all along the line. Solar flaring has been quiet since yesterday's pop. That X flare indeed released a coronal mass ejection nearly squarely at Earth, no doubt about it on Enlil, but the CME itself is moderate with much missing south. Looking at the sunspots, it's clear that these sparse flares are still an underperformance for solar maximum. Delta spot or spots are remaining in the big group. Incomers look seriously mean, very developed and seemingly complex. Now I want to bring focus back to the big dog for a second. It's tough to see, but Earth and Mercury are actually sharing a magnetic connection to our star at the lead edge of that same sunspot group. Very interesting. Solar wind speed is falling. Density rises back up, so the instability returns. You guys should be getting this like a snap by now. High energy protons remain, and electrons show the general disturbance. Coronal hole power finally jumped up. 
just in time with the incoming groups having parted fields. No blocking. That's a way to start the week. Something else to keep in mind, Earth is coming into opposition between Venus and Jupiter. That lasts almost all the month and then some. Last note, the forums on suspiciousobservers.org are still private, but the public forums are back up at community.suspiciousobservers.org. It took a while. Thank you for your patience getting these back up, and people are already remaking some of those old groups. Shots of our star to close? Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.